Hi, this is Dear DX with a uh, basic tutorial video on uh, how to uh, set up your uh, Mellowshit uh, DSP SDR receiver. This is just the basics on how to, uh, for the people that don't know how to start up, start their radio on and stuff. What you want to do right here is hook up your um, SMA to BNC connector. And hook that up or just hook up uh, if you have an MLA 30 just hook up the uh, hook up the uh, SMA connector to the receiver you'll need a uh, type C uh, cable connector for power so you hook that up over here and plug that in it will start up. So just it here. Okay, to uh to tune to a frequency, just touch on the uh, frequency. Type in your frequency you want to listen to. Click in megahertz for shortwave reception. Then you go into mode. Click uh, LSB. Adjust your volume with the uh, top, the top knob to adjust the volume. Click on that. Just a normal uh, setting. And there you go. You got the uh, frequency set. All your different settings here, and then reverse and two reverse uh, V back control. I never use those. Short wave antenna. I put it, leave it at 50 ohms. Preamp is di disabled. If you use the MLA 30, there's already a uh, there's already uh, an amp with the uh, antenna. ATT you only use that if, uh, if you have a really strong signal. I have gain is set to 15. Uh, yeah, all these other settings I just just play around with it until you get it right. That's your frequency uh, correction right here. So if you're uh, if you're uh, let's see how close this. It's a lot easier when you're doing a time uh, stamp frequency. It's a mode to AM. This is WWV. See how the red line is centered with the frequency? If it's off, you just uh, click the uh, frequency uh, correct and just adjust it with the volume the volume knob to uh, to center it out. And yeah, all these I just pretty much leave them as they are. For the audio. I pretty much have it set this way. EQ, EQ I set the voice. Light FM stereo, that's for the uh, FM radio. If 
filter normal, low frequency 50. Yeah, it's all pretty much all the set up from back here. So visual. This is just to change the uh, the color of the waterfall and, and see, like brightness if you want brighter. Adjust it right here. The screen's not bright enough. Um, you have a sleep timer. Uh, you can change the uh, waterfall right here. So you go from white to red to blue, green, yellow. You go back if you want. Waterfall gain right here, I usually use that if you want it to, uh, to adjust the waterfall to be more visible so you can see the signals. You get out of that. Noise reduction just adjusts the noise, noise reduction. Mode. Uh, you, go, you can go into USB, LSB, AM, Control FM, Light FM. That's so. That's uh, from the previous video I showed you how to set the uh, to decode uh, Morse code. Band you can. It's pre-selected uh, band, so if you want to switch over to a different band, you can just click on that and then go to it automatically. Let's see who's on. Uh, on this one here. Yeah, it's pretty quiet. Fifteen. They adjust the uh, tuning knob to change the band selection. There's like five pages. Back to uh, bring the 40, 40 meters here. Oh. A little bit of moist code here, see if I can get it going. Yeah, that's pretty much the basics. It's pretty easy to use, so it's not really that hard of a receiver to work. Any questions, concerns, just just, uh, just ask me below in the comment section and I'll try and answer as best I can. Back at 20 meters here. Seems kind of quiet. So top top knob for uh, for volume, bottom knob for tuning. This is a quick crash course on uh, how to change uh, frequency and band and all that. Uh, if you like my videos, uh, please subscribe. Um, catch you in the next video.
Have a great day. Bye.